our harmonic balancer came apart and shredded the serpentine belt. Why it happened and how to replace it. Our Saturn view has almost 250,000 miles on it. I've replaced the timing belt twice already, and this involved removing the harmonic balancer each time. And each time, I looked at it to see if it needed to be replaced as well. Now, while it did have some cracks in the rubber isolator, I didn't think it was bad enough to need replacement. Well, it needed it. It decided to fail about 5,000 miles after the last timing belt change. More on deciding when to replace this part later in this video. So letting the car cool overnight, I put it up on a jack and a stack of ramp blocks and removed the right front wheel. The next thing to remove is the cover at the bottom of the inner fender. This protects the serpentine belt and the oil filter from road debris. It's held on by these push pin rivets. To remove them, just pry out the center pin and the rivet will just come out. Keep them together so they can be reused. After that, remove the serpentine belt. But to even get to the belt, you have to remove the air cleaner housing. Well, this is only held on by one clamp, one bolt, and you have to disconnect the sensor in the corner. The belt is held in place by the tensioner. I used an offset box wrench on the bolt and a cheater pipe on the end to make it easier to hold the wrench in place while I remove the belt. With the belt out of the way, I could now remove the bolt holding the harmonic balancer in place. This bolt is very tight and the motor turns when you turn the bolt. In fact, this is how you turn the motor manually when you need to crank it a little bit by hand. So to remove this bolt, there are three options. One is to use the special 50 millimeter hex wrench to hold the harmonic balancer in place while turning the bolt with a 19 millimeter socket and another wrench. The second method is use a powerful air impact wrench to remove the bolt. These do quite well. Or three, let the motor do the work to remove the bolt. Now I chose the third one as it's easiest when you work alone and you don't have an air compressor, but does require that you have good tools and a clear work area. To use this method, position the wrench against the front suspension lower arm. A cheater pipe may be required if your wrench doesn't reach all the way securely. With the socket sitting fully on the bolt and everything clear of the swing of the wrench, Get in the car and bump the starter. It may take one or two bumps, but this will loosen the bolt and it can then be removed by hand. Use caution if you decide to use this method. Everything must be planned out before bumping the starter. Anything that's in the way of this wrench will be damaged. Or if the wrench is thrown by the motor, it can cause damage as well or even injure someone near it. After removing the bolt, the harmonic balancer normally just slips off the crank. However, in this case, the outer ring just fell off in my hand, showing just how badly this part had failed. But the rest of it came off after that. Now you can see what happened to the balancer. The rubber isolation had failed from age and heat. Then the outer ring slid on the rubber, finally sliding off the rubber isolator, and then the belt just slipped down onto the rubber isolator. The outer ring was just barely hanging on, and with just a tug, it came off completely. Now this is what it should look like. Notice the rubber isolator is nice and solid with no cracks. Really, sometimes it takes looking at a new part to see just how bad an old part really is. Now while putting it back together is just the reverse of taking it apart, there are a few things that I would like to point out. The new harmonic balancer should slide onto the crank without much resistance. This one is a little stiff. It didn't slide on smoothly. It went on fairly easy, but not as easy as the old one. This means that when I go back to remove it the next time, for whatever reason, it will be stiff coming off and may need a pulling tool to loosen it off. The torque for the center bolt is 181 foot pounds, according to several sources. To get to this torque, you need either a very large air impact tool or a way to hold the balancer in place while you crank on it. This is where I use the 50 millimeter hex tool that's specially made for this application. Holding the tool for one person is a challenge, but the same tool modifiers that I use to remove the bolt can be used to hold the hex tool, then cranking on the bolt with a torque wrench is a lot easier. The extension pipe I use is very useful in many ways and fits many tools. Be very careful when using a tool modifier like this. 
This modifier is adding a lot of force to the tool that you're using. And I have broken tools with this thing. They were cheap tools, but the lesson should be learned. Be careful when modifying any tool. The belt goes on next. Just be careful that it's in the grooves for all of the pulleys before going on to the next thing. As a side note, if I had changed the balancer the last time that I had the balancer off the car, then I would have saved the cost of this replacement serpentine belt. It shredded for no other reason than that balancer failed. The cover in the wheel well is the next to go on, and these push rivets are really nice for assembling. Slide the rivet in, push the pin in, done. Then put the air cleaner back in, put the wheel back on, and that completes the project. Now some of the lessons to take away from this project are replace parts that look questionable, even if they haven't failed because they will eventually. And there is almost always more than one way to accomplish a task in a project. Pick the one that is safest for you and works in your project. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.